Hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my other videos about the SSCM tutorial and today I am going to show you about the application deployment. So here is something like a where the one application depend on the another application. So we are talking about the dependency. So here uh, I am gonna give you a one scenario how we can deploy the Google Chrome where the Google Chrome is having a dependency on the flash player so let me start this video and show you the practically how it gonna work here so i'm gonna create a package first uh, so i do have both the application or msi and here i create i'm having the source file about the adobe flash player so let me click and create this first giving the source file and now here is a flash player so i do have flash player this is the uh, adobe publisher is adobe software version is 32 and uh, the optional reference if you want to keep you can keep the something more detailed and if you gonna want to give the categorize you can create it here it's like i am giving office application office application you can categorize this and select it click ok and now here is run 32 bit and the 64 bit install for the system ok and click on next and click on next so this is uh, my application is created here and now what I'm gonna do it first I'm gonna publish this application to my DP so distribute the content it. okay this is what my application now next and distribute distribution point so now here the distribution point and now my this application got distributed to my DB so let's see the status now it's under the progress it will not take much time because this is not a huge application it's a very small application and the DP I am having locally so it will take few minutes or few seconds and it will update it to my DP so here I'm gonna uh, check okay so my application got success and it distributed to my DP so let's see the next step now here is a deployment type and uh, i'm gonna click on property first i will change this name this is not looks good to me should be like this and the content okay so content is taken from this air path uninstallation same like that and here is a client distribution point from the side default side if you want to select it you can select or if you don't want then uh, it will take it from your uh, the boundary group like where is your machine is reporting and it is like something download the content from distribution point and run it locally so how it will work first the package will download under the cache folder and from it will run it the locally so now go to the command line as it is a msi application so automatically it detect the installation command and the uninstallation command here and here is like a i'm gonna this automatically selected it will run for the 32 bit and the 64 bit os so product code how i will get the product code let me browse this and uh, given this msi path and automatically it will detect the my product code and now i can go to the detection method so detection method automatically it uh, detect based on the product code if you want to add some clothes uh, so you can go here given the file name or given the path if this application already installed if not you can take it paths from somewhere and setting up it here so it will detect that application if it is a detection success that it's not gonna install because this detection method how it's gonna work first it will go to that particular path what you have given and then it will check the application version if you selected the app, uh, file and if the is it's available 
then it will not run and if it is not available then it will install to your system so i'm gonna with the existing existing clause user experience so install behavior install for this system okay and the logon environment it will be whether or not logged on to user machine so if the user law is if the user logged in into the machine then this application run and install if the user has not logged in then also it will install so installation program visibility it will be in hidden mode so guys when you are deploying the application in the production please keep it uh, with a hidden mode why it is because if it is a like a normal mode then user will get the pop-up like the add of flash player is getting installed and a user will interrupt to their work so if you want to uh, install it in the hidden mode select the hidden option and this is the maximum runtime allowed I can give the 15 minutes or the 20 minutes whatever it is I can give the 20 minutes but it will not take 20 minutes it will take just one or two minutes to install and you can give the five minutes the minimum time and here is selection and uh, determine behavior based on the return code so how it will work already uh, return code is mentioned here based on this it will decide whether the application is got success or not if you want to set up your own uh, own exit code you can mention it here based on your site code or define here it will give you the result so i'm gonna use the existing existing error code and the requirement a requirement is something and the what basis you wanna select it just click and add so here is a based on the device custom users so i'm gonna use the devices and here is like a in these many types of uh, filters you can use it here so you can use anything like the cpu speed disk space better you go for the operating system and the value and here you can select it like a windows 7 or the windows 10 whichever operating system you want and uh, you can click ok it will add it so i am i don't want to specify my os where it will work so this option is very useful uh, where you have a uh, machine uh, sorry where you have an application to deploy for a specific os uh, requirement so this will help you if uh, by mistakenly you add a machine in the collection like you have an application to deploy on the windows 10 and you added the windows 7 so on the windows 7 this application will not run so that's how uh, that's why we are using the uh, requirement now we'll go the dependency so for this application there is a no dependency as i told google is having dependency for adobe flash player so when we'll create the package for um, google chrome then we'll show the dependency and here is a installation behavior if this application already installed in the application uh, in this machine and you want to kill the process so you need to give the executable file name here so it will go and first kill the process then the installation will start and now i am going to click ok and you can see in it here it's not deployed and it's say like uh, this is the status now let me create the another application here create a new application so this time i'm gonna create a application for the google chrome so here i download it okay so here i don't have any application let me go here again and check my the source file software deployment and the google chrome okay so note this i have the google chrome msi okay let me go and go to the google chrome msi here i have the msi and i select it now click on next and next and now it's showing the google chrome so i think this is 18.0 set i think by mistakenly i click on next so no problem let me go to the google 
and the properties will fill the details again <coughs> so here I have to fill the Google and I am giving the version it's I think 18.0 .0, original reference that's okay fine no problem and the application catalog so here is like if you want to fill this details the so user documentation you can give the google uh, url you can go to the google and you can give the this url link if you want if you don't want that's fine if you have already the google image you can import and uh, give it here so by if you want to change the icon so it will take the uh, file uh, the image file and you can update the this icon so reference i don't have any reference package distribution deployment this content location is not there so let me update this first let me go here and update to the distribute content we go next next and select the distribution point okay, next and next and close it now I'm gonna find you in something more things here let me click and let me give it the underscore version 80.0 application catalog it's fine preference snow preference distribution setting is okay and now it is uh, you can set up the distribution setting like automatically and uh, type is to say msi type and the content location is distributed to dp and now the supersedence so i don't have the supersedence here in my the last scenario i showed you the supersedence how the application will work on the supersedence if you have not watched that video you can go and watch that video so you will understand the supersedence concept now let me click apply and i'm going to the on the deployment type let me go here and the properties this name is not looks good to me i'm gonna remove this and i will put it underscore 80.0 and content so this is my the source file same install and this and now if you want to select you can select this if not it's okay and change the setting to download it locally so what will happen this application will download locally and it will run it from cache folder now we'll go to the program so as it is a um as it is a msi application so it will automatically detect the installation and uninstallation command line here and let me take the product code so this is the google chrome so i got the product code detection method it's by default it selected the detection method as i shows you in my last two three videos if you want to the close if you want to add the more conditions like on the file base and if the already google chrome is installed you can give the machine path and from there you can detect it so then you will be having a condition as the version if it is a equal or greater than or these are the passing condition so you can set up the condition and uh, you can set it there if you want it but by default it is there so i am gonna use it the by default condition user experience uh, installation behavior so install for this system i'm gonna uh, installation behavior for me for the install for the system and logon type here i'm gonna select it like uh, whether or not a user is logged on so if my the user is logged on then also it will work if user is not logged on to the machine then also it will install the application so now 
next is like installation program visibility so how uh, it will work if i am selecting the hidden then uh, application will reach to end user machine and it will install in the background so user will not get uh, any pop-up or uh, anything like um, on a screen pop-up this application is getting installed if you are selecting hidden then it will be good so user will not get any interrupt on his work now here is i am gonna give the time like around the 20 minutes this is a uh, runtime maximum runtime if it is exceed more than 20 minutes then automatically process will kit and the application will not installed but as it is a small application so it will install within five to six minutes but i am giving like a 20 minutes minimum runtime will be like five minutes and this is the option to uh, determine behavior based on the uh, return side code okay so return side code will be here already we are having by default side code which will detect the application behavior whether it's a installed or pending or it's a reboot required or any other status if you want to customize you can add and customize your own like if zero you can remove it or you can mention five or anything so you can customize but i'm gonna use it in my lab by default a return code and the requirement requirement is something like uh, based on your requirement like this uh, hard disk should be there and disk uh, sorry disk space should be there processor should be there oper operating system should be there so like i will show you the example here is a i selected the device uh, device and then i am gonna select it operating system and if i selected any of the operating system suppose i selected windows 10 so this application will run only on the windows 10 and it will not it will not deploy to the windows 7 okay so i'm gonna use it by default return code dependency yes so this option now we're gonna use it a dependency so dependency i have with the other application dependency at i'm gonna add it dependency is on the flash player so let me select this and click ok and here is my the dependency auto installed so this application will auto install before installing the my google chrome so if i have the other application dependency also i can add it the multiple application like the 7 j or any of the version 7 zip or any other of the application so i can give the multiple application dependency or another application so in my scenario i have the google chrome dependent on the flash player and i am giving here the dependency group name is uh, adobe google with adobe google with adobe so it just for name and let me click okay so now my the dependency is created and now i am clicking okay so now my the program is uh, ready and uh, this package is distributed and his dependent package also distributed and now all the things are ready here so now we are in the stage to deploy this package to my collection so let me see i do have any collection for google here or not okay i have a google chrome collection it was old deployment i think there is a no deployment i created for other testing i will target it to my google chrome only so this google chrome i'm gonna deploy it and now select this and device and to the google chrome and your next and content is already distributed to dp and next it will be installed and available mode and time is okay i am gonna deploy immediately and here i have to select like a uh, deploy in a software all notification i need it 
then next alert i don't want next and close so now my deployment is ready and i'm gonna do it here and let me update the policy and now my machine will get the policy we can wait for a few seconds once it got the policy ok guys so my policy is reached and you can see I got the notification as well and if you want to validate the policy you can go here and check in the SSCM server what is the deployment id so deployment id is b068 and let us search here b068 and this policy reach at 420 and this is the we can match it completely last one is a 891b so 891b so now we got the policy here and we can open the software center now so now my the google chrome is showing here with the 80 version so now what i will do i will click here and install it and it's getting installed we can check it here the logs it's loading and installing and I am under the app enforce log so as per our setting should be installed first the flash player so here it's showing like a installation the flash player then it is getting installed and the time I set it 20 minutes maximum run time will be the 20 minute and let's see how much time it will take okay so it got installed and exit code 0 now the my first uh, dependent package is got installed and then it's taking the another package from the four folder it's a google chrome and now start installation and that also set up with the 20 minutes and even though here also we can verify it so here it's showing like in installing no wait so let me go here and when you are uh, if you seen it earlier it's supposed to show a flash player first and then the google so now we can go here and what it is showing ok google Chrome, and we got the pop up like a installation completed so this installation also completed with the dependent package as a prerequisite so now here we can see in it it's showing like a installed uh, this package is installed successfully and here this icon got changed to uninstalled so when you installed any application automatically that button will change to uninstalled so now this application is installed and let me go to the control panel and we can verify it so go here you know reopen data will refresh so now you can see in it my the adobe flash player also installed and the google chrome also got installed i'm sorry it was a 81 version by mistakenly i type is a 80 version so my the google chrome is installed and uh, my the adobe flash player is installed so that's how we can install the uh, dependent package dependency and here if you seen it this data will update after some time like uh, this data was updated okay so here it went so this data also will update it when the client will send the inventory okay guys so this is what the scenario i shows you uh, where you have a one application dependent on a another application like the application needed a prerequisite so how you can apply through the application okay guys so thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video